do the elevator game. And that fifth floor is where the woman may arrive in the elevator. Welcome to the Arlington Hotel, located in the heart of downtown Hot Springs, Arkansas. Originally opened in 1875, the Arlington Hotel has seen many famous guests. Presidents, actors, athletes, and even gangsters have all checked into this hotel over the years. However, although on record most staff claim there are no hauntings at this hotel, there are numerous reports by guests that claim otherwise. There have been apparitions seen throughout the hotel that are dressed in old-fashioned clothing. Guests have had frequent personal experiences, including being touched, feeling cold spots, and hearing laughing and strange noises when no one else is around. There are also stories of poltergeist activity as well, including bottles of wine jumping off the shelves water taps turning on and off by themselves, lights turning on and off on their own, and doors opening and closing. Does the ghost of Al Capone, one of the hotel's most frequent guests, roam the fourth floor hallways with his henchmen? Or are the hot springs of this town a spiritual highway that carries energy straight through downtown? We have checked in. Now let's find out. We are in Hot Springs, Arkansas at the Arlington Hotel and we have the most haunted room in this place. We're about to investigate tonight and see what we can get. We're gonna try to go into the Al Capone room and then we're gonna investigate in the room that we have rented, which is the scariest room in the place. So join us tonight, Arlington Hotel. There's like 500 <laughs> lamps. All right, guys. We are officially in Al Capone's old state house where he would hang out in the Arlington Hotel and watch basically the entire city. I mean, you can kind of see everything from here. So um, this was his room. Supposedly there is a 
tunnel that leads from this room over into where it used to be the Majestic Hotel, which is the twin sister of Arlington, but unfortunately, a few years ago, burnt to the ground. Is there anyone in here that wants to communicate with us? If so, come touch this device and it will change colors. The device with the green light. If anyone that used to run with Al Capone is here, can you please touch the green light and make it change colors? If Al Capone is here, can you please touch the green light and let us know that you're here? We just want to communicate with you and ask a few questions. If there's someone in this room, can you please let us know what your name is? Is there anyone in this room that wants to communicate with us? because last time I used this was at the V-House and it was going nuts. Is the spirit of Al Capone here? Do you not want to talk to us? Is this where you and your, your friends used to hang out when you were trying to get away from the cops? Can you please come talk to us? If you'd like us to leave, can you tell us to leave? that um, my parents had come out here, or my actually my mom had come out here with several of her friends um, for a little get together. And uh, they had a lot of weird paranormal experiences here and they weren't even really, um, I don't really know if they were told that it was even haunted before they got here. But several people had heard noises. And there's just a lot of uh, strange poltergeist activity here. So, um, that's just some strange stuff that, like, literally happened, you know, to my family. So I know for a fact that it's true because, you know, they don't have any reason to lie about it. So, very, very strange. Um, so we'll see if we can document any of that tonight. the REM pod go off. Can you please get near it again? If that was you that made that REM pod go off on the bed, go up to the red light. Try to touch it again. We saw you. Yeah. 
Yep. Can you do it again? Slapping the side of it, like it's still not going off. Unless you get up near the antenna, that's pretty much it. Close it to be. Yeah. Okay. I guess we should just leave it. Okay. We're gonna do what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna leave this room for a little bit. Um, if you want us to stay, then make that go off again. But otherwise, we're gonna leave for a little bit. And if you want to move those objects that are on the bed then you can do that. Right, let's go. That was weird. Yeah. It's like we're getting ready to leave and it doesn't want us to leave or something because we just turned the camera off to leave and it started doing it again. That was pretty crazy that time. That time it was like something right there. Mm -hmm. And it's on this side because the green light's coming on. So it's like right here. Because it was on this side, see that. The lights are coming on. Yeah. Are you only going to go off when we turn the camera off? Is that how we're going to play this game tonight? <laughs> Alright. Well, we're about to go. We'll be back. But if you want to move something or. Make a light go off, or make that thing go off, the rim pod, then you could do that. Zero it out. Turn the camera off again. No, actually, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, something over here moved. It was like a sack. Yeah, this. So that moved, and then this started going off. All right. There's something in here for sure. Where you at? That was weird because the sack moved. Right as the last It absolutely on. did. If there's someone in here, then uh, let us do something to let us know that you're here. Knock on the wall. All right, we got a camera rolling on that. So. We've got this camera here. Watching rim pod as well as three items. So we'll take a look at that later. And we'll see what happens. It's very strange. Alright, so we've had someone from the front desk tell us that the uh, ninth floor is haunted. We're just going to go up to the ninth floor. It's about, a, about like 1130 at night right now, maybe. It's almost 12. Almost 12. Yeah. This is like a super creepy vibe, though. It's, it's pretty like cool. The, the sounds that you're hearing, like the air and stuff running and all that. It's like really... And the ice machine. Yeah. We're uh, having to be quiet because it's almost midnight. We don't want to wake anybody up. We do the elevator game. Oh yeah, we're doing the elevator game. It's a game. Korean thing too, so you know it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's Korean, so you know it's real. strange spikes but I mean that could that could literally be from you know electrical and stuff this place is super old All right. there's not been a whole lot of 
renovin uh, renovations, really. Wireless router. It's an access point. Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi. Debunked. Debunked. Alright. This is the bathhouse. Um, hot springs has a lot of hot springs with natural water and mineral. It's like mineral. You know, people think it like heals you. Yeah. Makes um, you immortal. Makes you immortal. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, they have a whole bathhouse and have massage and all sorts of stuff. When it's not COVID, you know. So, so we're gonna do the. Uh, what is it called? Is it just the elevator yeah, game? Yeah, the elevator game. All right, we're gonna play the elevator game. And uh, you have to have ten floors. Go the first floor. Which, as you see, there's eleven. But you can't go to the 11th floor because it's not anything. Enter the elevator from the first floor by yourself. If anyone gets on the elevator, you can't continue. <laughs> Press the button for the fourth floor. Do not get out when the elevator reaches the fourth floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the second floor once the door's open. All right, you can do that. Press the floor floor. It's opening. Second now floor. I'm gonna press the second floor. Do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the sixth floor. Okay. Sixth floor. Do not get out when you reach the sixth floor. Remain in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. Alright, second floor. Do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the tenth floor. Some have reported hearing a voice calling to them on the second floor during this part of the ritual. Do not answer them in any way. There's just people talking. Tenth floor. Do not get out when you reach the tenth floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the fifth floor. And the fifth floor is where the woman may arrive in the elevator. And then what? I'll tell you. <laughs> If you if she comes in the elevator, you're not supposed to look at her or talk to her. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. This is where the woman might come. It says she might come, she might not. But that doesn't matter. It's just part of the game. Part of the game. There's a woman on the fifth floor. I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> Press the button for the first floor. And now if, instead of going to the first floor, if it goes to the 10th floor, we did it right. Push it again. Okay. Get off on the first floor immediately if, if it goes to the first floor. Okay. 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 That's it. Wait, if it had gone to the 10th floor, that would have been, it what? worked. But. So it didn't work just like winning money at the casino didn't work, huh? <laughs> right. Lame. Okay. Well guys, the elevator game is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs>
We didn't go to the 10th floor. We didn't go to the 10th floor at all. We went to the first floor. When I was really hoping we'd travel into an alternate dimension with the spirits. I was really, uh, really hoping we'd travel into another dimension, but... Yeah. Whatever. I'm very floor. curious to investigate the room we're in now. Cause... Yeah. And uh, we're going to investigate our room because our room is supposed to be the most haunted room in this whole place. So, 824. Supposedly there's a spirit in there that moves stuff around and turns the faucet on and off by itself and flickers the lights on and off. A lot of this activity happens between 3 and 4. The so witching hour. We're going to definitely... Time is it now? I mean, it's 12.30 now, so by the time we get done investigating in here, we could be pretty close to that. Yep. It is almost 3 a.m. And they said most of the activity, especially in this room, usually happens around 3 to 4. If there's anybody in this room that wants to communicate with us, please come near this green light. It will change colors. And we can communicate that way. A lot of people say that things move in this room. Are you the one moving objects in this room? If there's anyone in this room, can you try to talk into this device that's in my hand? It has a blue light on it. Heard that there's spirits in here that move things around. Turn the lights on and off. You can make the faucet turn on by itself. that I just saw on the screen can you say hello that was my stomach <laughs> <laughs> your tongue's like that a lot okay. if there's anyone here with us can you try to speak at least a voice in my hand I'm going to uh, go point into the mirror again. It's like hanging on the ceiling above the bathroom door. the one that turns the faucet on and off? If so, then turn the faucet on. You've done it before. If there's an energy or spirit in here, can you please let your presence be known by knocking on the wall or turning a light, a light on and off? Or turning the faucet on. I can see it without the mirror this time. On top of it. Just disappeared. Are you hiding in this corner? I'm gonna go there. 
pull the bathroom door this way so I can see behind it. Okay. I am behind the door. Is that fun? I thought it sounded like it said hiding. Yeah, so I thought it said it was hiding. personal experiences at the Arlington Hotel, we can only conclude that there is something more going on than meets the eye. This hotel has seen many faces and witnessed a range of emotions from guests and hotel staff. The Arlington Hotel is energized by hot springs veins that sprawl below the ground, supplying a permanent tie to the past. <laughs>